I'm sure that I'm not the only one over the years that has become annoyed by the energy and the time itself that it takes to enhance everything. So I was thinking a little bit about everything and I decided to make a spreadsheet to see what and where is the issue. And the conclusion at the end of the video should be, well, I can say freely more than simple, but anyhow, um, this took me um, the spreadsheet alone to make for about maybe three or four days until I've gathered all the energy uh, requirements for each level, as you can see, and I've managed to get it all in time, and so let's go and see through what actually is making an issue here so basically here you can see that there is a energy level for weapons for level 5 assistant level 10 assistant level 20 assistant and level 30 assistant um, assistants have individually each own energy scales which you can see level 5 has different levels Level 10, uh, level 20, level 30 have the same ones except level 30 starts the latest because it's level 30, which is obvious. Um, and we can see here um, what the total numbers are in the bottom. So, total amount to enhance a weapon alone, one weapon, is 60. Yeah, 692,000. 92 million actually yeah so six yeah 692 thousand so. um, and as far as the assistance go level 5 one requires 375 million level 10 requires 316 million same as the other two however you can see that in the thousands already there is a difference this one is 595,000, this one is 633,000, this one is 646,000. So, in total, if we go how much you need, to enhance everything, you need 2.7 billion energy. Which, yeah, I know, the number sounds astronomical because it is astronomical and you are going to see why it's astronomical. Um, Basically, uh, you probably have spotted that I've marked these four numbers differently. Reason for that is basically these two levels are where the biggest jump of energy happens. Basically, literally this, both of those cases are way more than double. Like you can see here is 9.1 million, this one is 25 million. Here it's 30 million and it all of a sudden just jumps to 65 million. So this is where the, I guess you could say, things go south. Basically they go wrong. Um, I don't know why it's not scale like every other level. Like as you can see all of the other levels are just scaled accordingly and increased by the determined margin but these two just have made enormous jump like all this like 60% jump like it's just ridiculous um so basically it's going to take you in total 180 days to enhance both weapons and all four assistants because energy daily on average that people can do is going to be only 15 million. I don't, I've put 15 million like an estimate number because that's what most people get, like it's between 20, 12 and 15 million, but let's say you can push to 15 million with some relative ease. Um, so when we divide this 2.7 billion on 15 million, you get total time of 180 days. And it's, um, I don't think it should take six months, it should take at least three to four months at the very most. Um, also what makes it a problem and a big issue is that the, we can see here the energy bar. Um, um, give me a second, we got a PM.
um, basically um, I'm going to discuss this at the end of the video um, so okay uh, this distracted me for a second uh, so basically what we can see here is that this is like 249 million energy cap uh, I don't know how much is for 89 12 because I haven't hit it yet but I'm working on it uh, but basically this takes about two to three weeks to fill up this bar which is extremely like ridiculous and it's mostly due to these two jumps um, so we can see that numbers are actually really astronomical and I've decided to make another case where how much you need minimal for each class as you can see mini minimal energy per class this is total energy and days that it requires to enhance everything so for monk you basically need a two weapons and three assistants to function at the most that you can basically you can um run without treasure loop because treasure loop as we all know gives only a health extension with its buff and the second skill is basically useless it's just to escape a assassin soul lost and that's really it so with all that being said you basically have to for monk enhance two weapons and three assistants which is going to be total energy of 2.3 billion or in days it's going to take you around 160 days which is disaster for fairy you need at minimum one weapon and three assistants so in this case you can go without wheel or without pearl depends of your own preference and also you can go without purple cloud because one of the purple cloud skills is basically useless to stun the or wild pet of a tamer and the second one is stun so basically if you are not focusing as very that much on duels you don't really depend that much of a stun because you can have it with a wheel um and for that reason the total energy is going to be 1.7 billion which we can see that it's already 600 million less energy required than for a monk which is going to take you 113.3 days so let's say 140 wizard needs minimally one weapon and four assistants basically with you need all four assistants like the use case of all four is so needed especially um you, some would say i guess you can without long bro long bro needle but thing is wizards is all about intelligence and you really need that intelligence buff at all times so you cannot slip on any of the assistants but with weapon you can choose whether you want to go with sword or blade most will go for sword but with blade you can level up just as fine as with sword so basically it's up to the personal preference once again and this puts total energy required for a wizard on 2 billion exactly or in 134.5 days assassin is same case as fairy like literally identical because you can choose one weapon whether it's scimitar or dagger you're going to be just as fine in both cases because you get a bunch of dodge so basically you get an automatically the defensive mechanism like very early on um, like you get a little bit more dodge with scimitars but it's only really 5% and you're not gonna break the game from those 5% so you're fine with either and you also don't really need that i flag to level up optimally and do stuff because one of the skills for ri flag is to decrease your own aggro which is basically useless because now this assassin cannot hold aggro whatsoever so that skill you lost its use case and the other one is actually good but it's mostly focused towards the pvp so if you don't do all that much pvp you don't really have a reason to run our flag and therefore the requirement is identical for as fairy because purple cloud and our flag are both level 20 assistants and this is their requirement so the days to enhance everything for assassin is 113 days and tamer has it the easiest because literally you can run tamer like forever without crossbow without pet bell and without nature booklet 
Basically, pet, bear, pet Bell and Nature Booklet are focused around your wild pet to buff it, revive it, heal it, give it buffs and so on and so on. And Crossbow is basically weapon that is probably least used in the game like ever because people just don't bother to learn it for whatever reason even though it's extremely fun weapon and therefore because you don't need as much enhancement you only need 1.3 billion energy which is going to take you 88 days to enhance everything for tamer so we can see monk has it the worst like it's almost double the days that you need to enhance everything than tamer but this can somewhat give us the rough estimation and I guess orientate a lot of people towards where to focus their energy on primarily because we still get here and there new players and they really don't know what to enhance first and till they figure it out within a one to two months or maybe even later and by then they just burn probably energy where they should so this is kind of again give you the orientation where to focus first um but yeah hopefully um this helps to a degree to some people um but conclusion for this how to fix it very simple we just literally need more dailies with higher energy because we stopped literally literally get dailies on level 85 and even when we got those for level 85 the last ones were all the way back to level 81 and 82 so we can see that they are becoming bigger and bigger gaps in dailies therefore the level up of the experience and energy is way harder i guess not so much experience because we get a uh, Okul berries in many other ways now, so they are way easier and way more accessible than before. Also, the secret EXP exists. However, secret energy is completely different because it cannot give you the equal amount as the secret EXP can get. And therefore, the requirement is way bigger because look what you all need to enhance. Two weapons for assistance for 2.7 billion energy. Like... Just think about it, uh, I hope they, well GMs at least, listen to this and that they do something about it because like who, who's gonna chase for 6 months to do energy and most people don't even bother to do dailies anymore because they just literally bottle day long whether it's K, whether it's Bevicher K or whatever it is, so yeah, I hope they do something about it. Um, okay, let's now turn towards this. Um, I'm getting messages for last 5-6 days that this monk, Dead Alex, um, or however you pronounce his name, basically this guy here, is reselling stolen stuff from mounts, from the inlays, from I don't know whatever he sells. Um, but basically people are complaining to me 2-3 times a day what to do, like... Please understand, I'm not a GM. I can only tell you to report him if he, you find that he's reselling your stolen things. What the whole deal there is, I do not know, but from the experience, um, in these cases, it's the best that you do not get involved in any items that he sells. So please, if that's already the case, don't buy anything from him, stay away. If you find that he is selling something that's stolen, report him to support or GMs and they will hopefully do something about it. So for the time being all I can advise you is report him and basically avoid any purchases that he is selling whether it's from auction or from world chat or however or whatever already he sells. So remember this monk over here. Um, but yeah, basically, um, with that being said, um, I hope that you'll learn something about the energy and hopefully we get some changes because literally I'm the first person that's annoyed by this and I still haven't enhanced fully the Buddha Bone and Treasure Loop. Basically, I need to enhance the full level and then I have more things to enhance for some other stuff. So it's gonna take a while either way so with that being said 
you know what to do, like, share and subscribe, also turn on the post notifications as we reach out closer and closer to 200 subscribers, and with that being said, I'm going to see you in the next week's video. Until then, stay safe.